I think, you know, as I always say, I thought the uh, interpretation stays with the audience, whatever they want to take from it. But I feel like it's about being, you know, feeling disenfranchised spiritually, existentially, and, um, you know, how to find yourself in other people, hopefully without toxicity. <laughs> Are there lots of us? I don't actually meet many others. Why did you offer to bring me along? You seem nice. I am nice. It's an ongoing conversation, the one that I had with Timothy since I started meeting him on Call Me By Your Name and never stop. And, uh, you know, it's like when you have your friends, you check in how it's going, what's happening, and then you also share ideas and you find ways to uh, really um, explore and uh, do things that change challenges each other. Uh, Luca, point blank period, Luca. Um, he asked for a meeting with me and I couldn't believe my luck and um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I would have done anything that he asked me to do, truly. Um, and I was very, I mean, I won the lottery in that what he asked me to do was this <laughs> project to inhabit this um, incredible woman and yeah. I like audience to fall in love with these characters and remind themselves how to love somebody and to be loved by somebody something that has to overcome a lot, but eventually it's worth it. So wonderful, so spontaneous, so smart, um, always asking questions and seeing if there's something else to be done in a scene, and I, I love working with actors like that because uh, that's where you get the best, you know, that's where the magic is, is not settling and, and um, always asking for more. The great writing of Dave Kajanek, for sure, beautiful characters, amazing, uh, uh, texture of the story, uh, uh, the opportunity of telling um, a universal story through the particular lens of this uh, fable, uh, where these kids are going through a lot of challenges and eventually they have to find a way for their love. Uh, and lastly, most importantly, these amazing actors. Hopefully they take away love and feel like understood in some way and exception, inclusion, knowing that even if you feel like there's no place for you in the world, there's no love, that ultimately there is.